control what's going to happen next. Oh, when I have one of my episodes, it's exactly like that, but only backwards. Sometimes when, when things get really bad, I sit down and, and I make a list of reasons not to kill myself. And my mom's always at the top of the list. Because I love her, you see, and if I have to die, she'd be very devastated. and throw myself into traffic. Oh. When I woke up, I, I was relieved. You know, I was happy that I hadn't succeeded. And for a while, I was, I was happy to be alive. But, but now, when I wake up, after taking every sleeping pill in arm's reach, I'm never relieved. I feel trapped. I feel desperate. I feel like even more of a failure. You know, and, 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 and sometimes I wonder if the only reason I can't kill myself is because I'm already dead. And I'm in hell. Because this is living hell. There's no better way of explaining it. Mom, it's hard to tell the people you love that you want to die. So I spend all my time and energy pretending that I'm okay. I make all sorts of jokes. But when I landed up in this hospital bed, I was, I was kind of relieved. Because I didn't have to act for anyone anymore. I could cry all day, and no one could feel guilty about it. I could pass my heart's contempt, and I wouldn't blame it on anyone, because no one wanted to take the blame. The honesty was refreshing. But then I started to look around at all the people around me, and I realized that I'm never ever going to get better. No therapy could help me cope better than I already was on my own. No medication could fix me. I know I'm always at depression. But I can fight it. I can, I can make everyone think that I'm normal that I'm coping by myself. 